asked uh, Loretta to come up with me uh, uh, right away, uh, because before we get to the proclamation, I'd like to uh, just say a few remarks and ask Loretta to perhaps make an introduction or two and, and uh, give a little bit of a, a history and a perspective. Uh, webcasting it now, I think it's very, very important for as many people as possible might not otherwise have the opportunity to be exposed to the discussion today, to, to have that opportunity. I'm thinking about it in particular, um, with a, uh, almost saying unfortunately, uh, because the, the subject obviously is, uh, the subject matter is very serious, but uh, you don't have to go any further than, than today. Um, just prior to me uh, coming in, uh, uh, news of, of a young lady, a young girl, who apparently has committed suicide uh, on the mainland uh, as a result of cyberbullying. And uh, this is a phenomenon that of relatively recent origin, but one that has become, I'm sorry to say, all too familiar. Uh, and so the whole question of suicide prevention is not an abstraction. Um, certainly not an abstraction in, in, in this state, and it's not an abstraction elsewhere as well. Um, when a child, in this instance, could feel so uh, despairing of, uh, of her existence that she felt it necessary to take her life, and even to tell others that, that she was in the process of doing it. This is not an unusual circumstance, and that, that in, uh, the preliminary information I had was that that wasn't acted upon. Um, so there is an awareness question, even for, I'm sorry to say, young people themselves to be, uh, to be aware of signals and, and messages and uh, inclinations that they may become aware of and are at this time maybe not entirely sure that they should act upon, or if they do feel they should act upon the information they're getting or the clues that they're getting, who to go to, what to do. So this is not an abstraction for me. This is not a pro forma a proclamation. In fact, I can tell you as I get, have some experience in this job, very few of these proclamations are pro forma. Uh, we, don't, we don't go through the motions. We're doing this for for a very solid set of reasons. And in this instance, literally, we're talking about life and death. So this uh, proclamation and the information associated with it in conjunction with National Suicide Prevention Week is more than just about uh, uh, those who may be contemplating such a thing, nor is it strictly in remembrance of or memorializing uh, those that, that uh, have uh, felt so despairing uh, for whatever set of reasons that they, they've taken their life. But this is as much about what to do. Uh, this is as much about who to go to. This is as much about extending the uh, information and perspective to those who may not even be thinking about it. It never occurred to them that such a thing would come into their, come into their lives, come into their uh, uh, ordinary, everyday uh, existence, and suddenly find themselves uh, in circumstances and conditions in which they become aware of somebody else uh, who, who is in, in jeopardy. Uh, so uh, with that, um, I'm going to introduce uh, Loretta Fuddy, who um, has uh, been my strong uh, and uh, vital part of this administration. Um, you know, I... I knew of Loretta more than I knew her when, uh, when I named her as the head of the Department of Health. It was as much upon recommendation and reputation as it was at much at more than it was a, uh, about personal observation or interaction. But I can tell you that uh, one of the joys of my administration, one of the joys of, of, of my uh, daily existence as, as governor, has been this remarkable lady to my right. Um, she is a, a stalwart uh, professional uh, who has never, ever for a moment uh, 
clouded her vision um, in any way other than by the tremendous heart that she has that, that, brings, that she brings to the job. It's a, a pleasure to be able to introduce this, this wonderful uh, example of the Aloha spirit in action. Thank you, Governor. Uh, thank you so much for, for being here today and for those, those kind words. As we said, this is more of a, a in some ways, more of a solemn uh, situation than actually one for, for joy. Um, we are very concerned in Hawaii about suicide. Um, the suicide rates in Hawaii are alarming, and it is the leading cause of injury deaths since 2007 through 2011. And for me, the deepest tragedy is the loss of anyone's life. Um, but when it's at your own hands, I think it's extremely more painful because, as Governor mentioned, to have somebody to be in such a deep despair that they would take their own life is a tragedy for so many. And when we look at children and we look at adolescents, it's even harder because a loss of any child is such a tragedy. But when it is at their own hand, I think it, the, the hurt is so much more. And it lingers and it calls to question our whole society and how we are responsive to children. So it is alarming to us that when we look at our, our surveys that we do in schools, that uh, we are the, the second leading, that we have the ninth highest self-reported um, prevalence of teenagers considering suicide. We have, in the nation, the second highest that actually have a plan. So to go to that level of actually having a plan means that this is something that they have been dealing with for quite some time. It's not just a spur of the moment. Um, and that we have so many that attempt. We're 16 highest in the nation. So what we need really is a community response. And we need to look at having the education because there are so many signs. As Governor mentioned, this young lady, um, because of bullying, cyberbullying is a, is a horrendous issue. Uh, but there's also other kinds of indicators, um, just despair, um, feeling alone, feeling isolated, um, mental health issues, uh, substance use. These are the kinds of signs that we need to alert everyone to. And that's the purpose of having the National Prevention Suicide Week. Um, and that's to call attention to the issue and so that we can do better education. And I really want to congratulate the coalition for all the work that they do. The Department of Health since about 2006 and 2007 have, uh, was able to get an individual to focus on this area. And we have um, increased our awareness. Nancy Kern is currently our suicide prevention coordinator. And through her efforts and all the efforts of everyone here in this room, we have been able to educate more than 6,000 teachers, uh, first responders, working with the, with the military, working with teachers. Because we need to look at where children are at. And they are in schools. That's one big area that we need to look at. We need to look at our after schools program, working with our coaches, working with our faith-based community as well. So that can, we can be alert to the signs and then provide that support for the individual. One of the things that we're looking at within the Department of Health is how can we strengthen our response in? So from our child and adolescent mental health, from our access line, uh, providing additional resources there. But it really begins, first and foremost, Governor Abercrombie is the strongest supporter of looking at early childhood and really looking at those foundations, even in preschool, elementary. We measure at the intermediate and high school level, but I dare say that many of the seeds of these despair really begins earlier, and we need to pay attention to that. So having other kinds of social service programs and education is really important. I'd like to call up Nancy Kern, um, because she is our coordinator to help with the receipt of the the proclamation, and also Marty Hackle from the Department of Education, since they're a critical partner in, in this effort. My 
no, by no means are we slighting anyone else. No, we're going to invite up at, after you. everyone we'll, from the, we'll have some from the military taken. and from, from college level as yes. well, the university. Yes. I uh, want to read the, from the proclamation then uh, right now, and having in mind um, that um, in some respects I'm, I'm dedicating this uh, proclamation uh, today. Um, because I think it's essential after my uh, remarks uh, about the importance of it and that this is not just uh, a, a pro forma declaration because uh, my experience uh, with the consequences of the uh, recognition of the signs of suicide is very personal with me because I lost someone that uh, I dearly appreciated and, and loved and uh, uh, had difficulty and even today when I was a member of Congress and my staff. So believe me when I say that this is uh, uh, something that is not just for other people. It just doesn't happen to others. Uh, it can be going on right around you right now, and that's why the signs and the, as as Loretta said, the the the, the indications, the awareness of, of, of uh, an understanding that this might be happening to someone that you can assist is is so crucial. Uh, to this day, I mean, I I know that I'm no different than anybody else. I keep asking myself. Was there something I could have done or something I should have known or what did I miss um, that, that I, was I so absorbed in myself and my work that I, that I didn't know? And I didn't. I just didn't. I just didn't know. And uh, uh, perhaps if I'd been, had some recognition, had some, some understanding a little bit better, I, I might have uh, been a more positive uh, influence at the time. But the whole idea of this is, is not to beat oneself up over it, because you can't do that. That, that doesn't do anybody any good, uh, least of all yourself. Uh, so what's important is, is to have a clear perspective and understanding about what can be done. And so I salute all of you uh, in the room for taking that message forward. It's not an easy one. It's not necessarily something that people want to hear. It's not necessarily one that people are aware they need to know uh, until something happens. Uh, uh, to, from, from personal experience then, that is the kind of experience that we all wish we, we did not have to have. So that's why it's so important in recognition of uh, National Suicide Prevention Week that we raise awareness of the risk factors related to suicide and promote the suicide prevention services available, which is represented by the, the, your friends who, who are on either side of me now. Um, uh, we realize there's a stigma associated with mental illness. You see, that's, that's one of the issues. That mental illness is not necessarily something that's visible, uh, something that, in, 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 as a result of bizarre behavior, or, uh, or uh, unusual uh, conditions and circumstances that are immediately apparent uh, to you. Uh, we work, have to work uh, among, uh, at discouraging uh, suicide uh, at, for people at risk from it, seeking, uh, and, and uh, seeking life-saving help and further traumatizing survivors of suicide. That's one of the things that I became particularly aware of is that when a suicide occurs, it's not just to the person. The, the consequences are not just to the person um, who has taken his or her own life. The consequences ripple across a very wide spectrum of people and situations and conditions, and they linger. They stay. Um, so these prevention efforts need to be continued. They need to be developed. They need to be encouraged to the maximum extent possible. And uh, therefore, uh, I proclaim 
September 8th through the 14th, 2013, is Suicide Prevention Week, and ask the people of the entire Aloha State to join all of us in supporting National Suicide Prevention Week and its goals of raising awareness about the risk factors related to suicide and to promote suicide prevention services in our local communities. Thank you. And, and again, this is a... Would you like to, maybe we have Nancy, Nancy would like to say a word? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Really? Um, <laughs> I, I, I thank you. Please. Be very brief. I just am so pleased that there are so many people from our task force who are here today. And as both the governor and the director said, we're working on public awareness and education, but also on supporting survivors. That's a very important part of what we do. So that's why this is so important today. It brings awareness and it shows survivors that we're really doing everything we can to decrease the suicide rate in Hawaii. So I just want to thank everybody here today. It, it just it means a lot to me that we've all come together and thank the governor and the director for for their support of what we do as well. So thank you. Thanks thank for that you opportunity. <coughs> Well, uh, the Department of Education has a well-developed program uh, to support efforts for suicide prevention. Uh, we have done the assist training with the behavioral health specialists and other counselors in the schools, and this gives them the skills to talk to students who are at risk for suicide and to actually make an uh, informed determination as to whether this is actually the case, and then to put that student in counseling and so to anticipate problems and before problems develop to that level of seriousness. But we, we really do appreciate your support on this as we work to improve our system and improve our efforts, and, and we certainly do appreciate that. Thank you, Marty. Well, now, let's take a, some pictures <laughs> and uh, memorialize the today, anyway. And we'll, we'll invite you to and camera. Each of you, yes, person. we'll have everybody come up. <laughs> And you can give your cameras uh, or what you'd like to have pictures taken to Tyler, and he'll be happy to put it together. Okay. Here, let's do this. I've done this before, Nancy. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> sure. All right. You guys gather around, okay. and then we'll we'll get everybody up here at some point. Right here. One, two, and three. Yep. I wasn't looking at you, Karen. <laughs> One, two, three. Good. Now, shall we come up? You have to self-select. Okay, we can either do it all together, we can do it individually, however you'd like. But come, 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 don't be shy. It's, 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 all it's a collective effort. It's a collective so I, effort. I, I think we all we can get you all there, I assure you. I'm not part of the task force. Okay. Give, Keith, give Keith and Tyler your... Uh, Devices. <laughs> yeah, come on. There we go. Tyler will arrange you if you're if you're, if you're not right, so don't worry. With your banner, so we need to have you. <laughs> Actually, can one of you in the back over there move to this side? I'm going to be able to see you a little better. There we go. Okay, right here. One, two, and three. Thank you. We have a few more. It's tall. I just took a picture of my pocket. <laughs> One. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you.
Nice to see you. Good work. Thank you again so much. Oh. <laughs> I realize it was taking a Thank you. 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 Thank you.